draw the free body diagram. So we look at the problem one more time. X is X. Then there is a rod here. Then there is a rod here. That's the axis Y. Then around here, we can cast the cable. And that's the axis C. So <coughs> that's point A. That's point B. Then around here, you have the weight. And I took that point as E. And this point is. So let's just uh, sketch on that problem. Now, if I start looking at the forces, then at the point E, there's going to be a weight, and let's call that as some force W. Then I'm going to assume cable to be in tension. So if I make the assumption that the cable is in tension, then the two end forces will be TBC and TBC. It will have exact same magnitude, and then the direction is going to be along the cable. So <coughs> at point B, there will be another force. Let's call this as TBC. So that's the force at point B as a result of the attached cable. Then we have a pin at point A. So <coughs> if you have the pin at point A, it's going to cause some reactions. And let's call those reactions as, let's say, A and, let's say, a couple MA. So those are the two unknown forces, which means one of them is the actual force A, another one is a couple MA. Now we need to find its components. And if you look at the actual diagram here, then at this point, what you notice is that this thing cannot translate along x-axis, it cannot translate along y-axis, it cannot translate along the z-axis. The pin holds it, uh, the pin holds the point A at its position. So if there is no translation, th there will be an equal in force in that direction. You're going to have an x component for A, <coughs> you'll have a y component for A, and you'll have a Z component for A. Or your force will simply be A X I A Y J and A Z K. Then we need to look at the rotations. Now if I look at the rotation, then first X axis. This pin the way it's placed it will allow the rotation about x-axis. So <coughs> there was a couple, say m a x or m x a, that will be 0. Because if the actual pin is free to rotate about x-axis. But if I <coughs> try to do the same thing along y-axis, this thing is now free to rotate about the y-axis. And it's not also free to rotate about the z-axis. So we need to add two couples as reactions in those two directions. So we're going to have m, y, a. That's one of the unknowns. And you're going to have another unknown, which is m, z, f, a. So th the actual couple at point a is going to be 0 times i m y a times j m c times k. And can, if you look at the nodes, this is really an unknown. 
that's an unknown, that's an unknown, that's an unknown, as well as this is an unknown. So, the actual count, if I count the unknowns, we'll have AX, AY, AZ, those are the XYZ components of the reaction at point A. Then you have M, Y, A, and M, C, A. Those are the unknown couples, or the components of the unknown couple. Then you also have the unknown T, B, C. So these are six unknowns of the problem.